Puma City Council meeting scheduled for 7 p.m. June. You got June 7th on here? Yep. I get two birthdays this year? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> July 5th, 2016. Will all come to order? Roll call. <laughs> Councilor Kleibenen. Here. Councilor Lillis. Here. Mayor Vaisalovich. Here. Item C, approval of minutes. City Council Workshop, June 1st. <clears throat> City Council Workshop, June 7th. And City Council Meeting, June 7th. No one has any questions or changes? Motion that we approve these minutes as they are printed. So moved. Support. Which is made by Lillis, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. D, approval of tonight's agenda. I've got under new business, item 12, which be uh, the roof quotes for the pavilion, and item 13, the resolution concerning uh, wetland administration. Anybody else have any additions or deletions on, under new business? If not, call for a motion that we approve, approve tonight's agenda with these changes. So moved. Motion made by Koivinen. We have support. Support. Supported by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carried. We have no appointments or presentations. If anyone from the audience wishes to address the council, we allow five minutes at this time or we'll allow time at the end of the meeting to talk about anything that was discussed. If not, I'll move on to the consent agenda. Approval of payroll, June 1st through the 15th. Approval of claims, June 2016. Approve the job description for a library director. Request for water and wastewater operator to attend wastewater treatment annual conference in Grand Rapids, July 27th through the 29th. And number five, 2016 discretionary capital expenditures. Anybody have any questions or changes on anything with the consent agenda? Just one comment for public consumption, uh, the library director's position. We will be uh, forging ahead and uh, looking for a new library director in the very near near future. So if uh, it applies to you, uh, please apply with us. We would appreciate uh, your service. Well, it's tough to get applicants, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Do we have a motion and a support? I'll call for a motion to uh, approve the consent agenda. So moved. Support. Was it made by Lillis, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. No public hearings. At this time, we have no unfinished business. We'll move on to item J, new business. Approve scope of work, design, and call for bids and quotes for city auditorium improvements. couple workshops on that. Anybody have any other changes or different ideas? If not, motion that we'll allow the public works director and the city administrator to proceed with that project. So moved. Motion made by Coivin and our support. I'll support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, part-time police officers. Do we have some picked out? <laughs> um, Mary, also, uh, over the, we, have a, we currently have a eligibility list, and that eligibility list, uh, the commission, um, we felt that to, in the near future, we'd like to um, start utilizing part-time officers for various uh, events such as the 4th of July um, and use them uh, throughout the year in various spots. Uh, we had a meeting with uh, Councillor Lewis and uh, discussed things and um, so we're bringing it forward to the, the council now for your approval to, um, to hire uh, two people on a part-time list. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Chief, call for a motion that we approve the hiring of two part-time police officers as recommended by the Chief and the Police Commission. So I'll move. Motion made by Lewis to support. Support. Worked by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 
Item number three, fail canine squad engine replacement. You know, I see uh, your proposal there and splitting the repair. Uh, Mayor Council, we started uh, over the last few months, the engine on the K-9 squad has started making some funny noises. Um, being that our K-9 officer has now completed his training, uh, we brought it down to Lundgren's and upon examining the engine, um, strongly suggested that uh, we need a new one. Um, and that cost here is quoted uh, between seventy-eight and seventy-nine hundred dollars, eight thousand respectively. Um, I did have a conversation with um, Supervisor Tamaro with the Town of Fail. Um, we discussed splitting that cost. Um, he in turn um, suggested turning that squad car over to the City of Evelyn, the City of Evelyn property, being that we are utilizing it and have the equipment in the squad, um, and he. Uh, continue to agree to um, split any uh, costs dealing with that squad in the future. Um, so I discussed with Jackie that we could work on that in the near future, uh, but it would be my recommendation. Um, we have a lot of money invested in that squad now, and I think it's uh, weird. Well, I, I think that's only fair. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I think that we all know what a new vehicle costs yep. and to redo everything. and. I think it's a no-brainer for us if they're willing to split it with us and they're going to turn it over to us anyway. So I, I'm all for it. I think that's a fair agreement. Good no, the township too, you know, they gave us the vehicle basically and they're willing to split the repairs. I think that's a very yes. fair proposal. And Mayor and Council, just to, they also have a vehicle replacement um, fund started as well that they're putting money away um, monthly towards the new squad in the future when, uh, when we do need one. Is there any comment on, you know, and I realize mechanical things have a tendency to, to go to heck in a quick hurry, but 45,000 miles, that seems like an awfully short yeah, period of time for a <clears throat> engine life. There was uh, some discussion, and we don't know. Um, there was a lot of idling on that squad in the past. And, um, oh. They figured that would have been an issue with it. <laughs> well, like you say, you know, a new vehicle like that costs new, probably 40 plus. Yeah. But no, I think that's uh, very fair. That would well, call for a motion that we uh, go along with the proposal from the chief with the failed township and split the cost of a new engine. It's no sense putting a band aid fix on it. No. Might as well get it, get it done right, have a warranty. Not with the investment we have in it with the canine equipment. Yeah. Yeah, you need something reliable. I call for a motion that we accept this proposal. So moved. Support. Motion made by Lillis, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution. Accepting a donation from John Kosky, Iron, Minnesota. A donation of $100 for the Evelyn Cemetery. Y you know, I, I read this. And I didn't realize what he was doing down there. I and didn't then on top of this, he wants to donate a hundred dollars. I would actually, I'll accept this. I'd like to make the motion to accept this. But can we send him a letter just to say thank yes. you very much? I mean, it's, it's really nice of him to do that and then donate a hundred dollars to boot. I mean, I just, I think we deserve at least a thank you to him. Oh, yep. definitely. Definitely. Are you putting that in the form of a motion, Joe? Yes. Brian, I'm leaving it up to you to support that. <laughs> well, I'll certainly support that, I guess, and just add for public consumption, John Kosky from Iron has been uh, helping us in our cemetery by raising our foot stones and monuments uh, with his own equipment and volunteering his time, and now is uh, donating $100 to the cemetery, so um, can't say how much I appreciate that. Yeah, I didn't so very I much it. appreciate it. You know, with all the families that aren't around anymore, you know, there's less maintenance of those grave sites. There's Absolutely. some people that have been up there for a long time. And it's, you know, nice somebody yeah. like him takes the time yeah. and the yeah. effort. Yeah, absolutely. So you do have my support on that, Mary. All right. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution appointing election judges. Did you get enough, Steph? I can use a few more, actually. Oh, really? Oh. For the general. 
Call for a motion that we approve the resolution appointing the election judges. So moved. Spark was made by Coivin and supported by Lewis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> Item number six, resolution authorizing the City of Edmonton to make application to and accept funds from the IRRRB Commissioner's Fund Grant Program for a building assessment on the Edmonton Gilbert School District Junior High Building. And I think we are working in conjunction with the school board and the superintendent on this. No one has any questions on the resolution. Call for a motion that we approve that resolution. So moved. Support. So made by Corbin and support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number seven resolution authorizing the acquisition of certain tax forfeit property. And that is the 3.5 acres just behind five seasons. 3.56 acres. County hasn't come up with a price yet on that, have they? Um, no, I had a meeting with them last week and they told me that I needed to do this resolution. So after they receive the resolution, then they'll go ahead and have the site appraised. You know, that's an interesting uh, piece of property over the utilities actually run right on the edge there. Mm -hmm. So if you ever want you know, to build anything like we're thinking, there's no real expense to that other than running it to whatever locates or builds there. So you get a big savings already on that. No one has any questions. I'll call for a motion approving that resolution authorizing the acquisition of a certain tax forfeit property. So with a comment that, uh, you know, this is, Edelweiss is so landlocked. We have so few opportunities to obtain land for uh, development purposes that uh, this is uh, this is an ideal situation here. We get 3.56 acres uh, under this uh, tax forfeiture provision. So, well, you got to compliment the county. Uh, they they kind of changed the way they handle these properties. They did the same thing for the city of Duluth. We're the second ones that they have done this for. Jackie and I were at the meeting. They said they're going to get more involved with local communities on these properties, get more input, kind of trying to partner with us, which is, you know, really great because they get to be a problem for county and the, the cities there. Absolutely. Decided. Absolutely. Do we vote on that, Steph? No. I'll, su I'll support it. Oh, okay. And you support it, Joe? And I'll support it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Letter from Nevlith Elks, Corn Feed and Classic Car Show. I think this is a little later than usual, isn't it? Not much. Oh. That's always a big draw. Oh, yeah. it, you know, hopefully the weather will be nice because it's right up there, you know. It, it started out good and now it's just a lot better. You know, it's a big or, it's a, it's a big thing after the 4th of July. It's a good shot for everybody. And they keep getting more and more cars. It's, it seems to really be growing. Yes. That's an excellent event. They have a very good thing going here. Better get there earlier, or you'll be that food line down to the miners. I was lucky office. to get in there early yesterday, last year, and when I came out, it was long. <laughs> oh, was it ever? And for a long time too. Yes. And they're talking about having fed 700 meals between 3:30 and 7:30 p.m. That's pretty remarkable. That is. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you see a lot of people there you haven't seen for a long time. That really brings them out. Those old cars. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, I'll call for a motion that we approve this request. So moved. Motion made by Coivin and support by Willis. Willis. <laughs> 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 Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item nine. Post for library director position. Let's so agreed on the job description and Everything else, we call for a motion that we start posting this position so we can get it filled. So moved. Support. Motion made by Lillis, support by Coivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 10, liquor license for the Ring Sports Bar and Grill, which is the, formerly the Chop House. Well, that should take care of the vacant buildings. We've got down on hat trick, except Absolutely. the one 
the one uh, eyesore we've been dealing with, but we're looking at a September 1st opening. Jack, have you received any details on what the plans are for the facility? I have not received any details at all. I don't think Stephanie has either. Shouldn't be much to open that place. That's kind of a turnkey joint, you know, unless they want to change what type of you know, atmosphere you want. But as far as operational, the building is in really good shape. Michelle and Robert Woods have purchased a rustic rock. Well, I'll tell you what, it's nice to see some investment in some of that property. Well, it's a beautiful building. It a is. Beautiful it's, building. It's a shame that it was empty for so long. No one has any questions. Call for motion. We approve these liquor licenses for the new Ring Sports Bar and Grill. So moved. Motion made by Koivinen. There was support. Support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 11, pay request from 3D Concrete and Construction in amount of $26,279.52 for 2016 sidewalk replacement. Gary, are they done with sidewalks for this year or are they still going? No, we still have about uh, $10,000 oh, okay. in our budgeted monies. We'll be looking at some more here in, in a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, they've been moving pretty fast on some of those sections. Yeah. And we did a big chunk out in West Everett, which was part of the Passau route, and uh, St. Louis County granted us uh, about 10000 That's a real nice program by the county, too. Yeah. There's a lot done for them. Yeah, we, we committed 30000 We got an extra ten for them. That goes a long way. That's a real good program they came out with. Helps us out a lot. Yes, it does. No one has any questions. Call for motion that we pay 3D concrete for the sidewalks. So moved. Motion made by Lillis. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Coyvan and any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 12. Alternate bid pro panel steel roof for the Ebleth Lake Pavilion. Is that, when is the last time that building's ever been roofed? I know we've talked about it a lot. Yeah, I mean, well, it's got to be 40, 50 years, eh? Well, it, it, it has at least three sets of uh, shingles on it. Oh, it does, eh? And we, we'd either have to pull it all off, or we could put uh, the metal right over that, can't we? Uh, they're going to be taking the shingles off. OK. Yeah, there, there might be some repair. Whatever, we're trying to straighten out some rafters. Too. There's some rises and balls. If you look down the side, the rafters, they're going to put some laminated beams in and try to get it up. Well, we have, the best they we have so many people using that facility out there now that I think it'd be a shame to let that building go to waste. And we all know how much a new building is. So well, I just think we should replace this roof. And that park has come a long way because I've had people, Jackie can attest, come right into City Hall just purposely to tell us what a great place it is to camp. Really a nice park, clean. Parks Commission has done a great job. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of big asset to the city. And the bid was $31,650. I have a motion then that we approve the bid for the metal roof. So moved. Motion made by Koivinen. We have support. Support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item 13. Resolution regarding the administration of the Minnesota Wetland Conservation Act. And that would be allowing the city administrator to look at those, uh, whatever you get, applications. applications. And look at them and run them through. Because uh, we do have one of urgency with the city of Virginia in that gas line. Yep. Every place you go, there's some you know kind of wetland that falls into play here. Well, and it's time sensitive matters. So, yeah, you know, we'd all, we'd have to wait so long to get another meeting. So I'll support it. A motion made by Koivinen and give support, Brian. Yes. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anybody have any 
suppose it's been kind of a slow time of the year for commissions and <laughs> committee reports. I don't have too much, but it seems like uh, there are more and more little kids when you have a parade route. There's yeah. Really getting to be a bumper crop. Oh, yes. Yeah, more and more. That's it's interesting to watch how excited the kids get. That's half the fun of it. You know, it was funny. Parade. I came back early on the fourth morning, and uh, you know, people have their own ways to go. They're parking up by the high school, and they're walking down with their chairs and their kids. And I just kind of, I've never got to see that because I was in business for so many years. You know, so it was kind of neat. And uh, I've heard nothing but compliments all the way around. So if you don't mind, it's, it's probably something that we all want to see is that uh, everybody, think that, you know, from the police force to city hall, to our guys on the street, to the 4th of July committee, to John and John's drug, to Bill for, you know, just taking care of all these people that came up. This was probably the most people, I would probably figure we ran about 20,000 people through this town in two to three days. And you can go out there right now, and this rain is going to cap it off. By tomorrow, you'll be able to look and can't even tell we had that many people in town. Now, that's a first-class crew that could take care of something like that and not have it stink and, and be good. And I just want to take my hats off to each and every one of you. Even to this, this today I drove by, this girl that's working for the city, I had to look twice. She's down on her hands and knees picking garbage up underneath a, a fence. I mean, and that's for Jerry and his crew. I mean, everybody. They just have done such a great job. So I just want to thank you. You can't even tell what anything went on. No. For yeah. You know, even the people in town, it was packed. Yeah. But you didn't hear any, you know, vulgarity arguing. Everybody was polite and really in a good mood. The fireworks were exceptional. Yeah. That's all you heard was the raving. They didn't want them to stop. And everybody really enjoyed them. It, it was a good, really a good when, night. When you have that many people in town, and, and the chief can tell us, you know, there was a couple incidences, but when you have that many people in town, and even in the bars, and there's not that much. I mean, we've had bad years where we've had stuff go on, but I mean, out of the most we've had this year, the, the biggest one we've ever had, and it just went over without a hitch. Yeah, it was uh, really good. Of course, we've been lucky through the years, too. You yes. Know, a lot of hard work. Well. A lot of hard work from everybody. It does. It takes, you know, from city employees to the merchants, the people in town. They're well, everybody's we had a good spokesman on Channel 10, it was Johnny Masich. He's, you know, he says he's been around for a long time, and he has. <laughs> and, you know, that. and you know when 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 they could start saying that it, it was good back in younger days when they were young, mm -hmm. you know, and it, the, the tradition is still going on. So I mean, it's just great in small town USA, and everybody sticks together, and everybody has a great time. You know, like I said, it just you feel good about it. Well, it's time you know time to see people you don't normally see. Yeah. For another year, that's a good part of it. Yeah, it was a pretty good holiday. Brian, you got anything to add? No, sir. You behaved yourself, it looks like to me. Absolutely. At least he made it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Any less for him? Two-man meeting here. <laughs> Joe, you got anything else to no, add? No, I've said just about enough. <laughs> Chief, you got any words of wisdom? Uh, just quickly, um, Councillor Koibnan did say a little bit about what I want to touch on, but I just want to thank all my officers and department um, for the job they did. Uh, a lot of people in town, uh, things went pretty smooth. Um, probably our best year yet. We've had uh, minimal trouble. A um, couple minor incidents, but um, we handled that. Um, I would like to personally thank uh, Public uh, Works Director Rosati and his uh, staff. Uh, they did an excellent job organizing, cleaning up, uh, made our job a, a lot easier. Um, and also, I'd just like to thank the community. Uh, they were very, very um, supportive and well-behaved and uh, made our job, again, uh, easier. And I would just like to uh, throw out there that um, our K-9 unit is now back on the streets from training. And we had our very first uh, successful track last <coughs> Monday of an uh, individual who fled from me. And uh, uh, Officer High and uh, Drago were able to um, track him through some woods. Uh, he had several felony warrants. Uh, some drugs on him, uh, so it was uh, went very, very well. So I just uh, like to throw that out to the public. Uh, it was a job well done. It's hard to believe someone like that would run from you when you just want to ask him a question. <laughs> really tough to believe, you know. 
<laughs> That's good. The dog got its first customer. I yeah. like that. I have a feeling he's going to have a few more, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you got anything to add? Uh, I have nothing else, Mayor. Jackie? No other nothing, Mayor? No, no, nothing from the legal end. No, no. Okay. I, even after a month of contemplation, I'm up in the <laughs> Steph, do you have any another plea for election judges? or? <laughs> I don't have too much to say. It's been, uh, like I say, a busy month with the holiday now. It's it's over, and next big event, what, six months till Christmas? Is that how it is? No, car feed. <laughs> Corn feed. Corn, Corn feed. feed. And car show. That's the big it's one. tough yeah. to realize half the year is gone already. You know, that's... It's after the 4th. You know what comes next. It goes downhill. <laughs> like I say, I'd like to thank everybody in town, too. It was really a joyous uh, holiday. A lot of excitement, a lot of turnout. And I don't have anything else. Does anybody from the audience have anything to say? If not, then I'll adjourn the meeting.